What's going on guys and welcome back to the channel. I'm back here with Chris Graham. Oh hi. <laughs> we are already about one in and before we left for Disney World, which was epic by the way. It was magical. It was magical. It was a magical world. We, by magical I mean expensive. It was very expensive. It was magical for those who own Disney. We got two magical lattes that cost like $20. Twice we did that. Anyway, we asked a bunch of questions when we were out on a date night right before we left for Disney and you guys asked a bunch of questions. So we're gonna answer them today. Like I said, a bottle of wine in. Actually, we're like two bottles of wine in. Yeah. One with dinner, one when we got home and- Now we're gonna crack open Chris the Chris is cracking over the third. So thank you for the fine wine. Cabernet goes down so smooth. All right, should I open it up? Uh, open what up? The questions. I, I opened up the vlog, now we got questions. Yeah, open it up. He's gonna be a super smart ass tonight. Okay. The first question is super PJ. What is your favorite workout? I'm assuming that means CrossFit workout? Well, any workout. Any workout? If, if your favorite workout's not a CrossFit workout, then it wouldn't be a, a CrossFit True, answer. but mine is actually King Kong. That's definitely my go-to heavy, gymnasty, Super fun, deadlifts, love it. What's yours? Uh, not, not King Kong. Not King Kong, he doesn't like the muscle. Ups. I love rest days. <laughs> does but it I take count? full advantage of them. Yeah, but it's good to have your body recover. It's true, most people don't give themselves enough recovery. Right, so I make sure I give myself plenty. Oh, I over recoverize. Overdo the recovery. He over recoverizes. If you guys can find that in the dictionary, I'll send you a gift. <laughs> okay. Next question, another fitness question. Mm. It's a good one. Yay, more fitness questions. Who is stronger? Between who? Between you and Josh. Or maybe it was maybe it's between you and the fitness guy that asked the question, or girl. I. But I think we already covered this in the last video, so we already did a Q and A video. We did. We'll that I think was that. really it went really well. Which and, is why we're doing it again. Yeah, and so, yeah, but it, also because a lot of people asked. They said that the last video was really funny, and they're like, can you do a part two? So this is our us trying to do part two. We actually got probably double the amount of questions this time, too. And, but yeah, but we also might be double the amount of alcohol in this one. Uh, but we did cover who was stronger. Well, it was who deadlifts more weight. Right, which is different than who is stronger. Right. Like, pound for pound, I'm, I'm definitely am. stronger. <laughs> You're so cute. Your facial hair doesn't help you get stronger. All right, so we answered that. Next question. <laughs> okay. Um, what is your max bench press one rep? 205? I think so. It's over Flat 200. bench, it was 205. Because I think Joe Riser was there when we did it. Right. Joe Riser from Real Muscle, who just hit 100 subs, will vouch for my 205 bench press. For sure. Okay, this is a cute one. Okay. Lust Army or Salvation Army? Everyone knows how I feel about Kendra Lust. Yeah, and I, I do. Both provide great service. Yes, that is the perfect way to answer that question. Yeah. They're both service oriented. <laughs> they both provide a service to the community mm -hmm, mm -hmm. in their yep. own respects. Yes. <clears throat> It's a toss-up. <laughs> it's a toss-up. How frequently do you eat out? Who? <laughs> oh, us? Both of us? I thought well, maybe they were asking how, like, me versus you, like, who goes out to eat more? <laughs> <laughs> um, once a week, I guess? Once yeah, we every do, like, couple weeks? Once a, every weekend we do go out for sushi. I would sushi. say we go out to eat, like, once a week. Yes. Yeah. We just came back from sushi, hence the bottle of wine that's already down. Kristen, how are you training your biceps? You and Chris are looking perfect together. Oh, Lots of curls. I don't know, I train biceps. How many times a week do you think I train biceps? Uh, At least twice a week? Yeah, because even like on your deadlift day, or your bench press days, you do biceps. Yeah, I did biceps today and it was chest day. It was chest day and I did tries, bys, and chest. And on shoulder day, I also do tries, bys, and shoulders, so... I definitely change. Yeah, there's a lot of days that you're yeah. doing biceps. Yeah, I'm doing arms a lot because of my strong man training. So, a lot. You two seem a lot like my wife and I. Are you best friends as well as lovers? Are we with lovers? Their, with the, his wife or my, with you? With me. I think he's saying I'm he... best friends with you and lovers with his wife. <laughs> you don't know who he is. 
Yes, we're best friends. I like to call you my best friend. Is that yeah. fair? Yeah. I think so. And I believe that we're lovers. <laughs> I, would, I, would, I, I, would, I hope so. I hope so. Um, yes, we are best friends as well as lovers. I hope that answers your question. Who's got better abs? <laughs> <laughs> I love you. Um, I don't really have what you call abs. I've got a stomach. No, you don't. You're really cute. All right, yeah. enough. Okay, sorry. Um, can you all adopt me? I can cook. No. <laughs> That's a good selling point. That is a very good selling if you're gonna, point. And, yeah, <laughs> if you're going to put something on your adoption resume, trust me. Um, put down that you can cook, you clean, <laughs> you don't cost a lot of money. Those are all great things. Mm -hmm. When do we get, oh, Alicia Fitness. When do we get to shoot? We have to yes. schedule something. I vote for that. Go check out Alicia Fitness on Instagram. She has been posting quite a lot of amazing photo shoots lately. I may have noticed that as well. Chris definitely noticed that. Um, okay, when will... You should read these ahead of time before you say them out loud. Read it out loud, okay. When will we see you, what does it say? I'll read it. When will we see you in a clip with Richard Sutherland and his girl Tiny? When you say a clip. I would say if you were ever going to shoot with Richard Sutherland and his girl Tiny, it would probably be, I would say, early February, somewhere between the 7th and the 10th of February. <laughs> if I had to pick a date, it would probably be those, I would say, probably around February 7th to 10th. Right, If yeah. I had to pick three if days. If you had to pick like a couple of days. Yeah. And the calendar of, say, a whole life. Which might also get posted on YouTube and I'm sure other websites, but I would say you could probably find it by like mid to late February. If, it says if. So, I mean. Okay, do oysters really work? I don't know. I don't know either. I think they're just, it's one of those things that they're like sexy, so it's like the placebo effect where I'm gonna have oysters and stuff is gonna happen after. And, and they like work because you think they're working. Right, and like we said before, we're lovers and best friends, so because we're lovers, I think it just works mm -hmm. anyway. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So does the wine. So, I don't know. I don't think that there's necessarily a placebo effect. I mean, I think it is a placebo effect. I don't think they actually do anything. Would you ever consider... Oh, to swing with another couple. Well, we that's a funny story. So this summer I actually put, because we got Kylie a swing set, and we put it up on Craigslist under the free section of Craigslist. And if you check there, you can find some good stuff. But we ended up having somebody come recently and get our entire swing set for free. They unbolted it, took it. So as of right now, we are probably not going to be doing, I would say, any swinging this coming summer. Right, no swinging, no. Yeah, that pretty much covers it. We have no more swing set. I'm going to skip that question. Right, we'll get demonetized if We're we answer gonna, that one. Yeah. What do you guys do while you're in the gym? What do you think we do while we're in the gym? I walk on the treadmill and then go in the sauna. <laughs> Every day, all day, that's what I do. We do the fitness. People probably think I'm lying. That's seriously what I do all day. You do that several times a week, but you do do heavy lifting too. You lifted, yeah. you did my chest day. He did the first yeah, heavy lifting in my chest day today. Then steady state cardio, then sauna, then steam room. Oh, Keon. Not technically a question, but we should read Not it anyway. Not a question, but Keon Pearson. Follow Keon underscore Pearson. He said, y'all are goals. No So if you don't question. know Keon, Keon, I would say, <laughs> I told you about Christopher Luke in the last Q&A video. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Keon. Q Christopher Luke over my face. Right. Right. So Keon looks like a blend. If you put me and Christopher <laughs> Luke together and we had a child, it would look like Keon. Right? I don't think you can even... I don't think you yeah, can. Yeah, because Keon doesn't have any hair, any facial hair. So. Yeah, so it's safe to say Keon yeah. would be like, like my baby. Christopher Luke's spirit child. Right, like a baby. Um, a very muscular, well built. Well, similar to me and Christopher Luke. So he would look just like me and Christopher Luke, <laughs> but like a nice, like a mocha blend of us. Right. Yeah. This okay. question must be for me. Would you shoot a scene with Kendra Lust? Yes. Next question. What are you drinking? Uh, Fit Vine wine. We did cover that. However, when we filmed this video, we were drinking um, hard alcohol. Not when we filmed, when we asked the questions for the video. So it might have been... I don't remember when we asked. I was drinking um, a Tito's Martini straight up with a twist. Oh, I remember that. That is my go-to drink when we go out I was drinking Jack and Coke. Shh. We're filming for Josh, you Josh, you're being rude. How did you guys meet and where? Oh. Uh, so I was sitting like two rows back. 
um, from the stage, and when they called Kristen up, well, what was your stage name back? It was Diamond, I think, Diamond. <laughs> Diamond from Tennessee. So they called her up to the stage, instantly fell in love, and the rest, I would say, is history. So we met at a law enforcement softball game. He oh, was, yeah, that's where we met. Never mind. Yeah, it was so somebody else. I was he was playing else. softball with the police department, and I was single. Newly single, and I was with my best friend. I think I was the only single girl in the crowd. Me and my girlfriend went out. There wasn't a lot of spectators there wasn't going a lot of spectators to the local to law local, enforcement right. softball game. Right. Well, we went out. My, me and my girlfriend went out with all of the guys afterwards, and Chris was the only one not doing cartwheels. Right. He was actually pretty chill. Talked all night, Turned and all then night. I closed my car door in his face. No, so what happened was <laughs> we went and had dinner. It was like a group of us, and then we, uh, on the way out of the restaurant, she just happened to park next to my vehicle, coincidentally, and we were like driver's side door to driver's right. side. I'll explain. Okay. And we were parked driver's side door to driver's side door. So I got out of the way so she could open her door, and I was like, all right, this is the part where I ask her for her phone number. And so then I, I turned and opened my door, and when I turned back around to look at her, she shut her door in my face, and then just kind of waved and then pulled away. And so I was like, all right, well, I... I think I screwed that one up. So I got in the car and I was like, ah, oh, idiot. So then I got in the car, shut the door, and drove home. He was so into me. So then. <laughs> and so then the people she was with, her friends, uh, the, the guy that was a cop with me put my phone number in her phone and said, like, you know, if you had his phone number, would you have called him? And she was like, yeah. So he's like, all right, well, his number's in your phone, so now you have to call him. So I got home and then she ended up, because this was way before, like, I think, like, so, text, yeah, texting and before, stuff. Like, it was, like, before texting. Yeah, before text like, messages. Really popular. Yeah, yeah we had, I think, like, analog. So we had the analog rotary phones. <laughs> um, so right. she called me and left me a voice memo. He was in the shower. Oh. Called me back right away. He didn't make me wait. There were no games. We didn't play any games. I called him. He called me. I didn't right have now. any game. There was no games. Um, he asked me out. Yep. Oh, no, I'm sorry. He asked what I was doing the next night. I had work. He said, okay, and I said, were you going to ask me something? He said, I was going to see if you want to go out, but I know if it would be too late. And I said, do you have a curfew? And I'm kind of... Right. I'm kind of aggressive like that. He said, no, it made him feel like this big. He said, no, ask me out, and we have been together ever since. Magical story it is. Magical story. What's the next question? I just continue to belittle you. I love you. <laughs> It's another one of these like swing set questions. Have you or would you ever try swinging? Yeah, no, our swing set was it was strong it enough. It was like solid I mean, redwood, <laughs> and it was definitely strong enough to hold us. I mean, we would swing on that all the time. Yeah, we swang. We swang. We swang a <laughs> lot. Swung. On we swing a lot. A lot of people miss our swing set. I know. Everybody just misses. It. Does he let you drive the Viper? If you didn't see. The video, yes, I drove the Viper one time. We'll put a card up here that you can click on if we'll you want to watch her. I think the card's gone on the left hand side. We'll put a card up and you can see me drive the Viper. This is why I only drove it once. It was the most nerve wracking experience of my life. Best dancer. I'm going to surprise you guys me. and say Chris. His hips, like. Did you ever see the movie Magic Feet? That's, I would say, very similar to me. Um, you were like... Go ahead. Give me a dig. Go ahead. I have no rhythm, guys. Like a, a bull in a china shop, but like a bull that has no flexibility or mobility and like literally just can't bend or move. Have you ever met a flexible bull? Yes. New Year's resolution. P.S. Stay extra sexy and hot. Told you it was for me. It's definitely for you. Uh, I don't have a New Year's resolution. Did you make one? I... Well, being that I am, I think, so humble, the fact that I, like, destroyed 2019, like, absolutely destroyed it in absolutely every way imaginable with my goals, my achievements, and accomplishments, and just being so amazing, I don't think there's anything that I can do to outdo myself in 2019. That's fair. Did you do a video on all your accomplishments in 2019? No, because the video would be take too long while you were able to make a video on just your, how many accomplishments did you talk about? Five. Five. If I did one, it would be like 1,300 accomplishments that I made in 2019. So, no, I could not make a realistic video of my accomplishments. But you did one with how many? Five. No, that's good, too. Five is a good number. Comment below and let me know you like my video. What's your favorite food? For both. Ooh. Chicken parm. 
Guilty pleasure. I'd say like steak and mashed potatoes. That's my like non-cheat cheat meal. Yeah, I love. I could have steak and mashed potatoes every night. Chicken parm is my like. If I'm cheating, like if I get like cheat. I like chicken parm, but like it's too. Or veal parm. Oh, it's it too much carbs. Then I feel like crap afterwards. Oh, I don't feel like crap. It feels amazing. Oh, how do you stay in love? From bearded cat dude. Uh, have affairs with women that are worse than your wife. Well, no, because that way, no, well, I mean, I mean that in a serious way. Yeah, tell the people what you mean. Because in that way, when you go back home, you're like, oh, my wife was better than her. So you, realistically, I think that's a smart plan. Like if you drive a I'm Lexus. I'm gonna with somebody that's worse If you than drive, a, if you own a Lexus, when you go on vacation, rent a Honda Civic. And that way, when you come back home, you're gonna appreciate how nice your Lexus was. You're serious. Oh, is that, is that not, I don't know how to stay in <laughs> Do love. Do I clear? <laughs> well, then, then you answer it. So if I <laughs> go with somebody that's like a step down from you, it's okay? Right, because then when you come home. Right, oh, okay, so it's okay. Yeah, don't, don't have an affair with somebody better than me. That's rude. <laughs> Guys. All right, go on, next question. Okay. I don't know how to stay in love, just, just don't mess up. Don't mess up, just like. Appreciate what you have. That is like God's on That's what I said. Appreciate what you have. You said it. We're like, on the exact same page. Mm, okay. Appreciate what you have. If you guys are doing events and competitions, who would win? I'm sure Chris would be nice and let you win. Uh, um, it depends on the competition. Yeah, it really depends because he doesn't necessarily let me win. No, if it's like who can make a better turkey sandwich, hands down you would win that. If it's like, who can chug more beer, I would win. You would win that. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, if there was a dancing competition, I would win. Yeah. A singing competition, I would win. Probably. Yeah. So I, in most things, I am better. I feel like he's not talking about singing and dancing. He didn't say, so it's open to interpretation. Right. So, but all the heavy lifting, that would be me. Right. Right. As long as we're clear. Hey, right, Josh, enough with the bone. I just realized how annoying that probably sounds in the background. Josh, ah, uh -uh, leave the bone. No, play with the stuffed animal, bud. Go chew on a stuffed animal, not a bone, okay? Yeah, I'm squeaking now. Go play with the stuffed animal, okay? Thank you. No. How does Chris feel about your? About what? Oh, your Snapchat? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, you don't really use that anymore, though, so. I don't really have any feelings towards it. We kind of we. Yeah, we don't ever use Snapchat. How long How been in long? a relationship? Fifteen years. September. Well, married for. Married for 12. twelve. It'll be twelve in April. And we were together for like fifteen or six, going on sixteen. This Se year? Well, yeah, we just hit fifteen years. Oh, are you into role playing, in the bedroom? Are we? Are you? I mean, I'm, I'm down for anything. Yeah, but like, do you role play? Do I role play? Because I do a pretty mean, like, macho man. You do do a pretty mean macho man. I feel like I, I in, interpret. I don't know what that is. Is that means. not the right word? That's not right. I don't know what you're I, trying I bring to say. on my inner, inner Kendra Lust. No, that doesn't count. Doesn't that's not role-playing. Like that's like it's... spirit animal. That's like my spirit animal. No, role-playing would be like, ow, <laughs> you hit me. Um, <laughs> stop. stop. He's not coming. Stay down. Stay. He loves me. No, role-playing would be like dressing up and getting into character. Schoolgirl. I mean, a mean, that, mean yeah. schoolgirl. So that would be, that would be like role-playing. Or like if I got on the top of the bedpost, and drop like a macho and elbow like right into your heart, like that would be role playing. No, that would be rude. No, it wouldn't, because I'm in character. Ooh yeah, if you could just imagine for one second me on top of that bedpost, just hey buddy, he like that. Like that's it. role playing. He doesn't like it. It makes him uncomfortable. Relax. Nobody's dropping any elbows. Oh, I'm dropping elbows. Have you ever? Did you ever get sick in a in a in a moving vehicle? So we kind of talked about this on the last video. Was the that story was a about still vehicle? Right. So that was like, um, while we were on while we were pulled over by the cops. 
one of us threw up everywhere during the car stop. So we did talk about that in the last video. Ew. Let me click on a link. Go find the original Q and A video. So I did. The I kind of remember responsible the thing. I was underage. Not that I ever drank underage. Hypothetically, you were underage. Hypothetically, I was underage, and I was the designated driver. And in New Jersey, there's a lot of clubs that you can go into as a female at the age of 18 years old. I went into one of those clubs. I drove all of my 21 and older friends into the club, and I was supposed to be sober to drive home. We drank before we got there. I never sobered up, and I was driven home pretty hammered. However, I somebody drove you. Somebody drove me home in my vehicle and I proceeded to vomit in my vehicle. And this was before me. This was before I met you. Yes. This was the summer I met you actually. And my girlfriend drove me home. My mom was pretty pissed, but I think I punished myself enough when I had to clean out my Jeep Liberty. It's not the first Which time. Which was well, no, the first vehicle I ever purchased last, for myself. It wasn't the last time you ever had to clean out vomit. No. Okay. No, you think I had learned my lesson, but I did not. So thank you, Ruth, for driving me home that night in one piece. Have you ever performed sexual acts on your partner while they were sleeping? You do. I have a medical disability. I would like to know if this is a thing. It is a thing. I haven't, I haven't gotten it cleared by my doctor as an actual disability, but I know, right. it's, I know it's an actual medical disability. I'm just too embarrassed to talk to my doctor about it. I perform sexual acts on you or whoever I'm sleeping next to whilst, <laughs> whilst I'm asleep. Yes, whilst I'm also asleep. Correct, and I don't do it intentionally, and I typically wake up while I'm trying to, whilst I'm try, trying to perform these acts. You can't use the word whilst. Whilst. And make it sound like an educated. It's in the medical <laughs> Medical dictionary. condition. I checked WebMD. So it's a thing that happens whilst I'm asleep. So <laughs> I can't technically be held responsible and I just always have to be cautious who I sleep next to in a bed. Okay. And at your brother's bachelor party, I did sleep next to your sister's <sighs> fiance, Tim. So I was somewhat nervous about that. But I think everything went well. Did you make sweet love to Tim? I didn't wake up for it. So if I did, Tim, I am sorry. <laughs> but I don't think I did. Have you ever gotten drunk with your parents? Yes. Yeah, I think so, probably. And we definitely gotten hammered with my parents. We yeah, because that's how I can... Yeah, no, I have to get drunk to be around your parents. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, have you ever done a keg stand? Yes! Uh, I'm, so yeah, I'm sorry, I'm so proud of that. I've only done like one. I think the only opportunity ever like came up like once. I was in a sorority. I did it last summer. We did it this summer, yes, this past summer. But I think that I might have been my first time, I don't know. In a sorority, know. so we did lots of keg stands. I think it was a rite of passage. Mm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Have you ever made out with three or more people in one night? Uh, mm -hmm. yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We don't have to elaborate on that. We don't have to. We don't have to. Have you ever taken Molly or MDMA? Good. I don't feel anything. You don't feel it? Jesus. Whoa. Whoa right. My jaw feels really weird. Yeah, that's the drugs. Drugs love a jaw. I want more. No, 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 no. Maybe like an hour. Oh, we should do it now. How much longer is this Molly stuff gonna last? We just re-upped. You kept saying you wanted to take more, so we did. So we have another maybe four or five hours. Yeah. Why? No. No. Mm -mm. Have you ever caught somebody having sex? The only thing that really rings a bell. The hotel room. For my birthday in California. No, was it? That wasn't where it was. Yes, it was. It was California? Mm-hmm. I just remember a hotel. I don't remember where it was. So we got... Uh, we went to a hotel. Mm -hmm. All right, so go ahead. You can tell. I don't really remember it. We were, we were going to California for my birthday. The next day, we were meeting Miguel 
and right. Tina. So the first day we spent together, we had dinner, we had a hotel, it was beautiful. It was in Newport Beach, okay. California. And we get to the hotel and it's oh, yeah, beautiful. Yeah, I remember now. It's beautiful. And they check us into the room, they upgraded our room. Nope, that's wrong. I'll tell the story because okay. you're already wrong. I'm wrong. We checked into the hotel, they gave us our room key. And we went to the room, and when I went to swipe into the room, it sounded like the TV was on inside. And I was like, oh, it sounds Which like something. Which is common. Right, sometimes they'll have the TV on, and it's playing like infomercials or whatever for the hotel. So I swiped into the room, and the door opened, and I opened the door, and I walked in. And as I walked into the room, it was kind of dark. We saw the legs. Yeah, and then I walked in, and to the right, I looked, and there was four legs hanging out of the bed. And there was a gentleman with a female on the bed who looked just as startled as I did because they literally gave me this room and I walked into some random room while two random people were, I, I it looked as if they were- They were engaging in Probably playing leapfrog with one another. <laughs> one person was attempting to jump over the other person, but just couldn't get over. And so then- And they just kept jumping. Yeah, and so we left and I went down to the front desk and I did the only thing I could do was I was so emotionally distraught and I was like, how dare you? And if anybody should have been mad, it should have been the other it couple. It should have been the other couple. And I was so we mad. We got a free show. We should have tipped them. Right. What? <laughs> Showered them with cash. It's only the right thing to do. Yeah. So I went down to the front desk and I was like, how could you let this happen? And they were like, we're so, so sorry. They upgraded us to a suite. We had like a penthouse suite. On the other of side of the hotel. And I was like, I cannot be on their floor or see these people ever again. And they were like, yes, sir, we will give you like this huge suite uh, with a balcony and all this other stuff. And so we went and we took our room and that was it. So I don't know what happened to those people. I don't even know if they complained. But if anybody was mad, it should have been them, not us. So yeah, that was. But thank you for letting us enter your room and get an upgraded right. suite. And that's all I have. So I think we are officially done. I believe we are done. And we almost finished the bottle. I almost finished the bottle. I think I was drinking more than you. No, I don't even think you refilled yourself. Anyway, I believe that is all she wrote. Cheers. Cheers. Do you like our new cups too? Chalices. Chalices. Shout out to Mom and Dad Graham. For new wine glasses. For new wine glasses. Mm. So, we believe we will be asking more questions in February. In February, because we, we have are special going guests on the show to have some special guests that we talked about earlier in this episode. Yes. So, if you can put two and two together, I'm not going to spoiler alert. I'm not going to give it away. But if you're smart enough to put two and two together, yes, we will revisit this whole situation in February. So the next Q and A is scheduled for early February. Right. So be sure you follow on Instagram. We'll post on our story uh, when we need questions and what we need them about, and then we need you guys to like send them in and send like good juicy ones. If they're too juicy, we might not ask them. So keep them a little bit toned down. But because it, it's YouTube, this is YouTube. Right. Yes. We'll make them juicy enough, but. YouTube right, make them entertaining. Keep them PG-13. So those questions will be asked early February. Right. So be on the lookout for that. We will let you know who. And make sure you subscribe to my channel. Also, the attire might be a little bit different as well. The entire episode? No, the attire. Oh. 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 Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I'll tune in for that. Yeah. <laughs> Have fun, guys. Comment below. Stay tuned for the more... So that wine's kicking in pretty hard, right? Yeah, pretty I'll much. I'll closing. Okay. Thank you for watching. If you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. Thank you guys for watching. Make sure you subscribe to my channel. I'll put the link down in the description below. <laughs> if you liked the content and you liked our video, please smash the like button and subscribe to her channel as well. And we will catch you guys on the flip side. Peace out, everybody.